Okay, um, this, I look very different right now, um, obviously there is some stuff on my face that I don't normally talk about guys and I'm a little nervous to talk about this. So I'm on my way to go get electrolysis, um, this is getting, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. So, this is going to be a, not a series, but like a whole explanation of things. And I want to help other people that go through the same thing that I've been through in my whole life. So, electrolysis is kind of like laser hair removal, but it's actually permanent. Laser hair removal is not permanent. Um, I've gotten both done before, but it is such an expensive thing to do so I now have the money to do it and I'm so happy because I've been wanting to do this my whole life because uh, it affects me mentally physically like it's a lot of things I will probably go and talk about like throughout the video but I wanted to show like a before this is literally one day without me doing anything to my face it's like all over here even here and on my cheek and under here so it's very embarrassing and I'm excited to get it gone so let's go to the appointment and we'll see how this goes I'm back, I'm gonna take what's mine Cause nobody else gonna save my life See, it's so clear what my own Okay, uh, I'm back home Oh my god So I am back home I had my consultation today Um, I know I said before it was gonna be electrolysis But she recommended to do laser hair removal Because of how dark my hair is and how light my skin is um she did some tests under here i'll take some pictures and stuff like that so you guys can see like a before and after um but like she talked to me and it was like super like i'm super happy because like i've been wanting to do this for so long and like i don't think anybody will ever understand like the pain i've endured like my whole life and it's hard to talk about I mean right now like this is the most vulnerable I've ever been like dealing with this my whole life is like it's oh my god it's so bad um you know it affects you mentally and physically I mean like I didn't know there was something wrong with me until like uh maybe few years ago or so um I started researching it and most likely I haven't been diagnosed by a doctor but I was almost diagnosed by a doctor I just don't have health insurance anymore but I most likely have PCOS and what that is is polycystic ovary syndrome so I don't get a regular period every month like a normal person um I and if I do have my period it's maybe a one to three days like it's not even long um, I have cysts in my ovaries where one time I um, got my period and it felt so bad like I felt like someone was stabbing my ovary and I um, almost went to the hospital at that time but then I passed out before I went to work so then after that I went to the hospital because I felt like I was gonna pass out again so I most likely have PCOS and there's a lot of side effects to it so this is one of them um, there's also where maybe I can't have children um, regular periods um, there could be weight gain or like I had weight gain I lost my weight but I'm not like every every person has different side effects so um, mine are hair um my irregular periods and there's really like a few other ones so i have been been dealing with this my whole entire life and it sucks because it not only physically um mess like physically happens to me but mentally too like it mentally has 
really take into toll on me. My, uh, I've been dealing with it since I was young. Like, uh, if I could, I'll post like some pictures of like what I looked like when I was younger. Um, I was teased nonstop. Like the names that people would call me was just unbearable. So, um, so yeah, I at one point wanted to like commit suicide because it was just so bad that I just couldn't go through it anymore. Like I just. I wanted to end it. This is before, like, there was any laser hair removal or electrolysis or anything like that. Like, I didn't even know. Like, I basically shave every single day. Like, it's so bad to the point where I can't keep up with it anymore. So that is why I'm doing the laser hair removal so I can have a normal life and not have to worry about people staring at me or making fun of me or anything like that. Because mentally, like, that takes a toll on a person, especially after, like, I'm 30 years old, so I've been dealing this, with this for a really long time. So, going forward, <laughs> this is going to be a process. So, um, I have another appointment tomorrow morning, so I cannot shave at all. So then I can go back tomorrow and get my whole face done. And it shouldn't take that many um, appointments for laser. Uh, electrolysis would have been like every week, so... Yes, I'm excited and I'm going to go relax now because I don't want to be seen in public right now. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired, but today is the actual day that I'm going to get laser hair removal and this is like day two of not really doing anything to myself. I haven't left the house at all, so I'm kind of like, uh, I need this to be done with because... I can't really go out looking like this. So, um, yeah, I don't remember how much money it is, but I'm, I'll tell you that when I find out. I really don't care right now. But, yeah, this is, like, two days without doing anything. And, like, it's super embarrassing. And I had, like, a test one yesterday where they put it here and I think here as well to see if I reacted um and I don't see anything wrong with my skin or anything so I think we're good to go when I get there and I think it's for only 15 minutes so hopefully she can get rid of all this in 15 minutes so. see the glue on my own two eyes my eyes I'm not broken I'm still going I just got done with my first appointment and I can already tell a difference like they did my cheeks up here my chin I mean it's still prominent but it's gonna take a minute to get off everything and I have to wait four to six weeks until my next appointment so this is gonna be a long video guys okay um but it hurt like a bitch this area this area was the worst um it hurt here don't get me wrong but like the pink here oh my god like i was crying it was bad um but i think there's gonna be a brand new me soon i'm so happy <laughs> but i'm gonna go home now because i'm tired and i'm hungry and i need more coffee So, 
I don't know if you guys can see it. But, um, yeah, I didn't shave this morning. She said I could, but, like, it's not, like, that long enough for me to do so. Um, sorry if I, like, sound, like, a little weird. My throat is it's kind of weird. Um, I just got over an ear infection. <sighs> my life. So, I am on my way to get coffee first because, you know, that's important. And then my appointment, I don't know how many. I'm going to ask her, like, how many times do I have to go until, like, this is, like, all gone. But I saw a lot of progress for the past month that, um, that I had gotten it done. So, we'll see if it hurts, too, because shit. My upper lip was the worst one, but yes. <laughs> oh my god, guys, that hurt like a bitch. Um, I'm a little red right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, I'm so happy with just two visits so far because it doesn't grow back as fast. But I'm super red right now, and I'm like, what the hell's on my face? Um, yes, but mm, coffee, I need it. going back in six weeks for my third visit and we'll see how many visits because it really is case by case and I'm so happy okay I'm going home now because I'm fucking tired and I'll keep updating like throughout the six weeks in between because like at first it still kind of grew but then it stopped because it was like sh uh, shedding and then um, I didn't have to do it as often let's see if like I can even go like a day without doing it Please excuse how bad I look right now. Oh my lord. But I'm going to my appointment and I almost forgot I had it. But um this is an update. I'm not sure if I had gotten worse or not, but sorry, I just washed my face, so I'm not sure what's on my face, but I'm not sure if I've gotten worse or better. I know that this has gotten worse, and I'm not sure if it's my PCOS or if it's just not working, so we'll find out when I get there. Oh, I just want this to be over with. <laughs> done and it's looking real good I'm so happy <laughs> I mean I'm just I have to figure out my whole PCOS body stuff too um, because that's also a factor in this and if I figure that out this will slow down a little bit more as well but I'm really happy it's really smooth and yeah I am editing the video right now. Hold on. My lights. Um, I mean, this is me the day after. Uh, but I wanted to end this video because I noticed how long it is. And my appointment's not for another four or six weeks. Uh, but I'm trying to see the positive side of this whole thing and if it's working. And I'm so vulnerable. I'm, like, really shaking right now because, like, I'm about to, like, finish editing and export and put it live on my channel and like I'm about to cry because like I'm actually really scared because <sighs> I just want fuck I just want to be happy <laughs> and I want to also help others that struggle with this as well and like oh fuck my anxiety is so bad right now like I just hope you guys understand like how hard this was for me. <laughs> Fuck, I hate crying on this channel. <sighs> I'm gonna end it right here because I'm gonna keep crying if I don't. But hopefully you guys support me in what is going on and understand that this has been the biggest struggle of my life and I've only like told one person and that was my ex. Um so let's end this right now. <laughs>